Well, I think it's just one more example of how political the Justice Department has become, and it's why 14 whistleblowers have come and told us that, 14 FBI agents. But I want to go back. I want to go back to May of 2013. The Inspector General at the Treasury Department issues a report and says Obama's IRS targeted conservatives. In our, in our investigation at that time, we discovered that the Department of Justice was trying to find ways to prosecute the very people who Obama's IRS targeted. And, and Maria, guess who? Guess who was the, the lead person at the Justice Department looking for ways to target and prosecute the very people Lois Lerner went after? Jack Smith, the guy Merrick Garland just named as special counsel to go after President Trump. Now, think about this in the broad sense. In 2016, they spied on President Trump's campaign. In 2018, it was the Mueller investigation. In 2020, they suppressed the Hunter Biden story just days before the most important election we have. And in 2022, 91 days before the midterm election, they raided President Trump's home. And then this week, Three days after President Trump announces he's running for president, one day after Mr. Comer did his press conference, guess what? Merrick Garland says, we're going to put in as the special counsel the very individual who was at the Justice Department and was looking for ways to prosecute the people Lois Lerner and Obama's IRS targeted. If that's not a political Justice Department, I don't know what is. So this is why we're going to look into this issue and we're going to get to the bottom of everything they've been doing at the politicized DOJ.